Hi, Mona me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now! The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed! And his killer is among this group of students? No, I'm not gonna believe it! I'll never believe it! Cause I believe in everyone! So do your best! And don't forget to save regularly! Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that! Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. B but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks... Yeah. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. Maybe that explains why you're the way you are. Mm-hmm. Why does me kind of think Nagito looks clean because there's no blood on him? I see. Didn't have any dust. That's what she meant. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes! That's it! Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. If he stabbed Byakuya to death, it's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? What is this, like, door the explorer <laughs> bullshit that's going on Can here? Can you spot the murder weapon? something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Isn't one thing that could be used to block the blood splatter? The caps in the floorboard, obviously. <laughs> this embarrassing position. tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, Hitting a knife in a blackout and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. There we go. No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Correct, the murder occurred there. The stabbing didn't. But the inside of the tablecloth is bloody, and so there's no denying Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! Do you ever understand anything you think? The place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different. You look like you're onto something. Sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. 
In the scenes where you have to figure out important words, the improved Hangman's Gambit will occur. The goal is to line up the right letters in order so it reveals a keyword way to the incident. The question, <laughs> improved Hangman's Gambit is like improved. a little puzzle game. I like how they have to add improved. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Various letters will fly across the screen in all directions. There are two rules you must remember. If two different letters clash, you'll take damage. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse. What? Yeah, we'll see. Wait, if two letters hit each other, I take damage? Mm -hmm. If two of the same letters clash, they will fuse? You must make two of the same letters clash while you try not to let two different letters clash. I'm confused what I'm doing. You'll see. In order to do that, you've been given a technique to catch and release. When you move the radical to the left stick to the A button while it's on top of the letter, you can snatch a letter like a vacuum. This is what it means to catch the letter. However, you can only catch one letter at a time, so please be careful. When you press the A button while you have a letter caught, you can shoot it where your cursor is aiming. That's how you release that letter. With a catch and release, you can change the position of letters hitting each other. Make sure you hit the same one to freeze the. Ta -da. Called firing the letters. Catch and release the A button to fire. If you fuse them, fire. It's a whole lot of A buttons. However, if you just erase letters, you won't be able to clear the game. Ultimately, the game will complete the keyword. Just line them to figure out what keyword will answer the question. But lining up the keyword instead of pressing A button to fire the letter. I'm assuming this is supposed to be why. If that happens at the same time the letters blow up, it will be sent to the keyword list. If some letters correct it will fit into the list. If not, the influence gauge will take damage. You must write the keyword in order based on the firing letters. Please think about the completed word. Also, if you leave a fused letter alone for a while, it will just blow up on its own. In that case, you will take damage, so please be very careful. I took so long to explain it, but do you understand now? If you press the start button, they seem well by well then good luck and have fun. The place where you have stabbed and the place where the keyword and the stabbing aren't the same. Using those words as a clue, I should put aside maybe conceptions and try to think about them. Something, something's coming to me. Just a little bit more, I feel like I can see something. Using my psychic powers. I'm the ultimate psychic. Improve Tangman's Gambit. Under the floor. I think you can speed it up with the thing that used to speed up time during the normal one. You can put like multiple letters together, by the way. You could do it like, I think, four times. Why would I? I don't know. You just can. Well, this is very slow. I mean, you could speed it up. Yes, I know, but like... Also, it gets faster. Really? Like, so. um... Further in. You gonna take the R's, Gabe, or what? I'm going to. You can let the, no the letters hit each other. The damage it does to you is incredibly small. Okay, well, the, they started next to each other, but yeah, okay, sure. You might want to just put the F together to save it for when you need it. Yeah, but it'll blow up over time. Yeah, but, you know. Put another F with it. I think that resets it. Also, damn, you're not getting any E's. That's a shame. Yeah! <laughs> I've noticed!
Oh, there they are. Finally! Just the one at the bottom. You have the L at the bottom. Yes, I know. I was trying to stop that from blowing up. Again, it, you see how much damage it's done to you? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to be efficient. Those O's are about to blow up. Done. That was bad. Yeah, improved Hangman's Gambit. My ass. from under the floorboards. Why would they do that? I actually enjoyed the other one to some degree. You know, to be fair, they did add another thing that I actually like a lot. The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, Better not be Pekka Pekka. That means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. Mm -hmm. That's right, if I remember kill one person who should know how to get into the floorboards. Where are you, boy? You're right there. You're the only one! You're the only one! <laughs> you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? You referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said. Are you referring to the Hellhound Earring? Yes. About that Hellhound Earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboard, right? <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ash. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the I lost my Yumi in the ocean! And if he had it there are people the dying, Cam. You're ridiculous. It's funny. And that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. True. This is the evil fourth eye. What does Before anything you say mean? Of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to you him. know. I'm shocked Ibuki doesn't constantly talk about the fact that she does not understand half of what that man says. Yeah, because if she thinks the word assume is a fancy word, that bitch is probably like asunder. You mean thunder? Asunder, asunder. Lightning and a thunder. Tell you all, the answer was in the storage room. Of course it was. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. Yeah, um, that's a lot of names. You remember when wow. I tried to investigate those boxes and just like, ah, oh, that's probably not important. Nah, it's crazy. Yeah, really weird, important. right? Not important. Weird, right? Not important. Not important. <laughs> the game's like, it's probably not important. Like, everything's important. Don't be like that. I mean, you said earlier when you were trying to guess if it was Nekamaru's account, you were like, you looked at that and you were like, eh, probably not that one. Probably not important, is what you said. So. I said that of all three of them. And then I literally just read through all of them. Like, ah, there we go. Never mind. I get it. <laughs> it. That, those first few ones, I really didn't understand. I had to, like, think through, like, ten stages, and I went, I think this is what they're going for, but honestly, this seems dumb. This logic's After weak. securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floor. I think it's generally agreed upon that the third game's first trial is the best. 
The first game's first try was okay. The second one is like, oh, there's a. This is definitely better than the first one. There, there's just the first couple steps to it was dumb. I like it now, but the first couple steps. This one's really better dumb. than the first one almost entirely, just because of Nagito. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! I like how the one is just asleep. <laughs> Tremble with fear, By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the guy that voices Gundam played through all of Danganronpa 2. You did mention that. So he even voiced all the just general lines that the character doesn't voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's wild. And apparently he didn't remember doing any of these voices. That's what you mentioned. I mean, he did, but he doesn't remember what happened in the there game. There he goes, blabbing oh, okay. about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, and you're just a little bit. Like so. Huh. From the storage room. And that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor. I can make jokes. It's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab, stab, stab! Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy, like... <laughs> I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but... That means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. I mean, we know it's not Mafia Boy. Because Chiaki. We're assuming it's not Chiaki. Because Mafia Boy can count that, can attest that she was there. Um, wait, Chiaki's the gamer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Um, so that leaves Pekko. But to be fair, do you know that the time, the exact time the murder took place is when they were outside? Because yeah. I think Chiaki mentions that Fihiko came around towards the beginning of the party. Yeah. So all I know is that assuming Chiaki is not the killer and that she never left her post like was said, um, Mafia Boy, who I really don't remember his name. Fihiko. Fuhiko. Fuhiko um, cannot be the killer. Which would leave... Pekko... Did Neko leave? I think he left, Yeah, right? he was, like, standing out by the bathroom. Yeah, so Pekko, Neko, and Teru. Who wasn't at the party? Pekko, I mean, Neko, to be fair, Teru. we hear Teru Teru because he came into the kitchen during the blackout. Or well, he came, came from in, the kitchen. He came in at the end, yes. I didn't yeah, but he was still there. there. I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness. Yeah. Right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. So I was people. in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... <sighs> Judging but... from the photo I took before the blackout... No, that was at the blackouts. Who was it? They're talking about Fuhiko. He was the only one not there. Obviously has to be him. Yay! It's decided. What the, what the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer. Oh really? The only thing that doesn't make sense about that is you'd have to get in the building to use the entrance underneath the floorboards. And like Chiaki said, he never came back besides that one time. See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, you're not allowed to use the silencer. You Someday silencer you can get thing. rid of the white noise, Gabe. Have when fun! When you use the silencer, you can shoot down the white noise. Also, when you shoot down the white noise, your time will increase a little. However, if you shoot down an actual remark with the silencer instead of the white noise, the time will be decreased, so you can care for you. I guess they were just trying not to overload you with game mechanics at the time, so they decided to just wait a little bit. And that's why they decided to make advanced tank lands gambit or approved or whatever? Improved, yes. It'll be somewhat pointless, yeah. Or if you like doing a little bang bang, you can use it to your heart's content. Bang 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 bang
Well, then good luck and have fun. Not even narrator, just the person that tells you the tutorial. rules. Tutorial! Tutorial fight! Tutorial fight! Okay, so Chiaki. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a c- could have stared at panties all day without going to the store and drew him in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. The culprit is self-evident. Okay. It's not, but you know, go off, I guess. The party was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. Without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started, nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi. You got that wrong. No, that's wrong. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um. Oh, you're right. How did she not know that? Are these people goldfish? Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he turned to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> Wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floor. It's called masochism. From outside. Yeah. Chucky and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party, it was probably during the blackout. So the problem is that it's been three weeks, so I don't remember who was there. I remember that Bianca was obviously missing. I don't remember who else is missing. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, Here's once again. We're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. I love you, Nagi, but it's time for you to shut up. What are you looking at? Well, not really I'm assuming board. it wasn't just gonna be like a portable barbecue lighting up the area. Um We'll see. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. Did Akane seriously get it right? It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> no. Making a seafood bowl without fish? Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Oh, the pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if Her they used right. a light? You got that right? Off it is. I know. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. I mean, it wasn't a portable barbecue, game. Portable stove? Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. 
Shh. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity. And it's also small enough to carry around. So That's what portable means, Hajime. Portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. Well, portable doesn't mean you can carry it around. It just means it's easily movable, which means you know porta potties and things. See, I never considered the portable stove, but there's a hole in your argument. A huh? Hole. What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me. Teru. In much more detail. Stop. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime. Will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Will you be able to break through my argument? It's like he understands how this game actually works. That's crazy. So it's almost like we have an antagonist. Rebuttal showdown. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned, it contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? It's I don't see what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the office was because the hallway was so if a light was shining in such a dark hallway. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? Well, I swear the hallway would have been stood out, so if the killer did have let the reason Kazuichi was able to see it. See the office was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? You got that wrong! Cut through those words. Allow me to cut through those words. It's a different thing, again. Gabriel. Or are you just pretending? I don't care. Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus. The hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate. I mean, wow. Sonia pointed out because you she doesn't. don't remember your talent, do you? Asshole. Who cares about that right now? Ooh. Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. So you're telling me to call it the real killer, even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboard to stop Yaki and his death using the glowing paint as a mark. The only killer I can think of is... You, and only you. Who is it? I'm... The problem is I'm forgetting something. 
I'm forgetting something big. Such as? I don't know. Because I'm missing something. I'm I'm sitting here and I'm like, there's still a hole and I'm completely lost. I mean, there's no hole. There's a hole because think, I forgot Think of the last info. piece of evidence we got. It's pretty obvious when you, you think about that. Yeah, L- that's literally, crazy, I'm, isn't it? Yeah, I'm literally just looking at this and I'm like, this is the only one I'm coming to because I'm forgetting what evidence and I can't check it. You're the only I mean, one. all you need is the You're kitchen the equipment one. list. He's the yeah, only one that went over it boring. besides us and Spiakuya. about there's no way of course that's simply my assumption so if you have an objection please speak freely uh, objection or not why am i being treated like the killer because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen that's weak that's it that's the only reason you're treating me like a killer isn't that a little drastic you're cruel cruel too cruel uh you terry that attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Come you what shit. The chef? If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. <sighs> Nagito? Stop being reverse ever. You're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they and that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shine the light on Byakuya, right? The plan... That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shiny mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. The victim was targeted by a mark? I couldn't even read what that was. Um... Well, you can display it with the X button. Oh, okay. Right. I forgot they swapped the X and Y buttons. Crap. Forgot I didn't have this set up correctly beforehand, so the X and Y buttons are swapped because Xbox gotta love it. Um. Did we never use the Monokuma file? No, yet I don't think. So what do you think was the mark that the person that murdered Byaki used to find? I figured it was paint or something, but I'm checking. I'm just not seeing where it mentions anything. I... Do I have to show the knife? I can prove it with this! The mark you're talking about is okay. the glowing paint that was applied to the knife. I don't right? know why we didn't have, like, a thing for glowing paint. Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. 
The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Biafria got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! N now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did he boot you here during the blackout? Him talking. Because he was under the floorboards. Ah! The devil may be! What the hell? What's going on? Turn the damn lights off, you guys! Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was we... in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen. So I panicked and ran out of there. In the dark. Of course, the hallway was dark too. But somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well... It's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by taking their strength. Oh, well, if you want, you should try looking me. I'm repulsed. No way! You look greasy. But I heard Tara Tara's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Wh why? Why do you have to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Ouch. Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony, the fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Okay. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage. I was somewhere totally di I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be dis- I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Uh, huh? But why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? <laughs> Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? 
I told you to wait a sec, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Yeah. Totally from the big city. Totally from the big city. Yeah. I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys. This guy's a major liar. If Terra Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. <clears throat> There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Terra Terra actually there during that time? I, I sure was. I was there the whole damn time. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right. You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories. His accent is getting even worse. He's definitely lying. It sounds... Um... Inappropriate. <laughs> It's um sure. based off of uh Fuck. It's Cuban. Cuban. It's a Cuban accent, I think. Oh. Is there any I way think. we can decide? Pretty sure. I figure it's supposed to be um forgetting which prefecture, but they have like a like southern drawl to them, not like an American southern drawl, but like a like Hicks kind of thing from Japan. I'm assuming that's what's supposed to be, but it's just sounding like racially insensitive for some reason. His memories? Don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Cajun, not Cuban Cajun is the accent. Ugh. I love their food. <laughs> Whether or not Terra was in the dining hall during the blackout in order to know for sure, I just need to throw that question at him. Yeah. Also, I think the one you're thinking about is Okinawa. The Okinawa Maybe. prefecture usually have characters from that they have a weird accent. You should know how Mika was positioned at the time. Right. What? No! Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! No, this is a very important question. Well, Terry Karen, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Um, it was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. Eh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um, um, huh? Uh, From my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, yeah, definitely. So, Nagito, say something. I guess you might have to give up now. Give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Yeah, he's just reverse Kyoko. Okay. He just, where Kyoko was constantly building people up and trying to get to the truth of things, he's trying to obscure the truth as much as possible to test their quote unquote hope. He's like a fetishist. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? No matter what, it hasn't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. That was really obvious, you actually. Him? But it's such a sad this is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? 
It's not the knife, right? Judging from Kyaku's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stabbed from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! We don't need a translator. I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. What a door! What a door! Um, he said, try to do it. What a confusing accent! Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. A thin edge tool with an amber of 15 minutes. The, the weapon that meets those requirements might have been used at the crime scene. What was that? Regular Hangman's Gambit? No, it's improved. It's always improved. Yeah, so. Regular is Yes, I know. Game. I was hoping. Um, I'm forgetting what it's called. Uh, metal Rod. You said the word just earlier, Gabe, just so you know. Yes, I'm forgetting what it's called for some reason. an element in Minecraft. Did you remember it? I think it's like an iron pick or something, but I'm forgetting what it's called. Iron skewer. Not a fan of this, to be honest. It's bad. There can be another W here. Anywhere. Now we just need E again. <laughs> Three thousand years later. This is really not great. It comes on the screen, it's not what I need, it's dead. It. Yeah, it took me forever to even remember what it was called. My brain just shot off the moment we started this. That's it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. Missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Uh, oh, oh. Okay. Avril Lavigne! <laughs> Avril Lavigne? <laughs> Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Good to know. sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Terry Terry leave the old building. Which means, he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. <laughs> That's hard for him. <laughs> 